Okay, Shalom, right, wonderful lesson ahead. We're going to be looking at this note left by Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri, one of the leading Kabbalists of our time, The Man Who Found Mashiach. This is a book written about him, the rabbi who found Mashiach. Let's go and have a look. So this is the note that he left that um, he said, do not open until a year after my passing. Um, and it was revealing the name of the Mashiach and the name that he revealed the initial letters of what he wrote spelt out Joshua okay so clearly a great indication to who that was pointing to however we're going to have a look at the gematria in this um in this lesson and it's going to link all these things that we've been talking about in the last few lessons well, in a lot of the lessons building up to this, so many concepts, it's unbelievable gematria. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so to bring myself on board. So the Kaduri note, I've got this verse up here that it is linked to, and it's also linked to um, Luke 2. I'm going to go through that. Um, let's just have a look at the gematria and see how it points to this. So first of all, he will raise or lift the people on and prove or confirm that his word and his teaching his torah or his law stand okay on deem endure and is valid so that's the initial letters yoshua here we go again yod he he vav shin vav Ayin, Yahoshua, spelt with two vavs. Okay, so that in itself is significant because we've got to get the truth and the vav represents the truth. And the only way that it would appear that we're able to access the truth is through the 6,000 years of rectification that reveal the truth that we're searching for. Okay, so let's bring the first um, connection up to truth. If you take the regular and not ordinal of this entire phrase, it comes to 2470, and that is the regular of this verse here. Emeth meeretz titzmach wetzedech mishamayim nishkof. Truth will sprout from the earth, and righteousness will look down from heaven. And the initial letters, emeth meeretz titz, titzmach spell a meth truth okay a meth aleph mem tav aleph mem tav it's telling us that truth will sprout from the ground what ground well the ground that we've got to till for six thousand years to reveal six thousand years that are the six days of creation that we managed to do all his work before he enters into the holy shabbat our rest in this entire process of rectification, we reveal the truth that is only out here while we are nothing else beside him. Okay. So I've talked about that a lot. Let's go on. Some fascinating things here. This is how it's linked up to this verse here. And I'm going to show you how this verse is linked to um, Luke 2, the only place where we've got a mention of this holy man called Shimon, that even the Christians believe became Shimon, um, it could be Shimon ben Hillel. That's even within Christianity. So we know Shimon ben Hillel from the last two teachings. It's looking very much like he is absolutely Shimon Kefa, and that actually Shimon Kefa represents the Mashiach ben Yosef to some capacity. So the at bash of this is 2141. Exactly the same as this here, plus six kilel for each word. So one, two, three, four, five, six. For the initial, for the letters that spell Yoshua, we had an extra six kilel on, and it comes to exactly 2141. This verse in Lamentations 420 is incredible because in here we've got the concept of the Mashiach of Yote Wauhe. The breath of our nostrils, the Lord's anointed, Mashiach Adonai. Mashiach Adonai comes to 384. I've talked about this all the time and I've said that within the Torah we've got this phrase, the Mashiach of Adonai, the, the, the Mashiach of the anointed, the, the Mashiach of the name, Yote Wauhe. This is also mentioned in Luke 2, 
the only place I do believe it's mentioned within the New Testament, but I can't, I don't know that for definite, but it's mentioned at the place where, where Shimon is mentioned. We're going to have a look at that. We know that it's related to Moshe because Moshe is 345, the ordinary is 39, and then if you add them together, they come to 384, exactly the same as Moshech Yotewawi. We know Moshe is the Moshech of Yotewawi, the Moshech of his name. Okay, let's go and have a look at Luke 2. So this is an incredible, there's so much hidden in here. And you'll see when we go to look at Luke 2, how some of these words are definitely, they're definitely absolutely pointing us to this verse in Lamentations. Ruach apenu Moshiach Adonai nilkad bishchitotom asher. This word here in their pits is linked to another verse. We'll come across that soon. But this part is what it's equal to. Asher who omarnu betzilo nichye begoyim. Of whom we had said under his protection we shall live among the nations. Under whose protection have we lived among the nations? The protection of the Mashiach ben Yosef who's entered into this exile with us in the name of Yote Wauhe. As the Moshiach of the name of Yote Wawe, through the power of the name of Yote Wawe, is entered in and is offered and afforded us some protection. Let's go and have a look at Luke 2. Okay, so we've got this on Sar Shalom. Let's go down to where it gets interesting. Um, it's here where it mentions Shimon. It says it's talking about. Mary and Yeshua and Yosef. These could all be code names, by the way. M Miriam could be code name for the community. Yosef can be code name for um, Yesod, and all kinds of things like this. You've got to start to pay attention to all these as code names or Agadic tales, okay? Because of what we know, how the teachings were infiltrated into early christianity so we don't know to what extent we are listening to true actual events or agadic tales that are going to help us to understand the underlying mystery the underlying secret in the meaning of the torah anyway we've got this reference to shimon it says, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Shimon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him. So we know that Shimon ben Hillel was anointed by the Sanhedrin with the same spirit that was on Moshe. This is the spirit of the Mashiach. Okay. It had been revealed unto him by the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. So we've got Et Moshiach Adonai, the one, the Moshiach who would come in the name of Yote Wauhe. Okay, so this is a very important Torah-based concept, Tanakh-based concept that's pointing at Moshe. Wayavo, so this is connected to um, Yavo Shiloh, he who comes you know Yavo Shilo and it's also another messianic revelation of the coming of Mashiach so we Yavo Baruach het Amikdosh so he came in the spirit he came in the spirit into the temple so this is already telling us something what does it mean to come in the spirit okay in holiness a, a spirit of holiness, mikdosh. Um, it came in the spirit. El ha mikdosh. Mikdosh is the temple. Um, it came in the spirit unto the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, that they might do concerning him after the custom of the Torah. So the purification that came after birth. Then he received him into his arms and blessed God and said, Now let, let us, thou thy servant, depart, Lord, according to thy word, in peace. So this is very much connected to what we're talking about in last lesson, Rabbi Akiva ascending into peace and returning in peace. 
So, be shalom. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, Yeshua Tachah, which thou hast prepared before the face of that of all peoples. So all these are very, very mystical levels of um revel these are all very mystical terms that have been used in this particular part of the, the New Testament. Very highly mystical and highly significant um words. Or le ear, a light for revelation um, in the eyes or to the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. So even even the double use of or, or le or le ear, a night, light to illuminate the eyes of the nations. Okay. And the glory of thy people Israel. So even there's a distinction, isn't there, between Israel and the the nations. And this word is Tifereth. Tifereth Yisrael is another word for the name of Yote Wauhe, because he's it's at that level of Tifereth. And Yaakov is all at so at that level of Tifereth, and so is Yisrael. So it's all again mystical language. And then his father and mother were marvelling at the things which were spoken concerning him. And Simon blessed them. Just wait a minute. And said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the falling and rise of many in Israel, and for a sign which is spoken against yea, and the sword shall pierce through thine own heart, or through thine own soul, that thoughts out of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Hannah, or it's Hanina, I think, or Hannah, sorry, Hannah, a prophetess, um, Navi or, Navi or, a prophetess, of the daughter of Phanuel is to do with the pit face, Phanuel, the face of God, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And she had been a widow even unto fourscore and four years, who departed not from the temple, worshipping with fastings and supplications day and night. This is it's pointing us to this. This, what we're studying now, is pointing us to exactly this part because it's using the same terms. The Moshiach of Yote Wauhe and all these taught terms about being safe within the nations. This is code name for something. A revelation of the Moshiach ben Yosef that had to descend into the nations in order to be a guiding light in the nations and in order to protect Israel within the nations. Okay, let's go back. So here clearly we can say that this note is connecting us to this verse, it's connecting us to Luke. And to the Mashiach of the Yote Wawe, under whose protection we shall live among the Goyim. And that is exactly what's happened. We've been in exile among the nations, and under Edomite exile among the nations, and we have had some protection. The Lord's anointing was captured in their pits. Bishkitotham. This is all significant. This is going to be pointing us to another verse which tells of another verse in Tanakh which tells about this gathering in of the lost house of Is Israel let's go on and then here we get go look this is utter perfection in my eyes blessed be he who has come in the name of the Lord okay and it's looking like Yoshua who's who is this Yoshua it's a title it's a title for what what is your Yoshua a title for it's a title for Moshiach ben Yosef, who he will raise, lift the people and prove that his word and his teaching stand. It's the one who's accomplished this. OK, it's in and, 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 and this is a title given over to one who is anointed. We know Shimon ben Hillel was anointed because he was the head of the Sanhedrin, according to Talmud. He came in the name. What name? Well, he was the Mashiach of the name. He was a revelation of the name of Yote. Well, his soul is a revelation of the name of Yote. Well, with the Holy Yechida, the level of the Holy Yechida, and through this, the name of Yote. Well, he is revealed. It's all connected, and it's according to Yalkut Shimon, the Mashiach ben Yosef is the Ram of the Akeda, and he's in this exam to protect us from falling to the fiftieth level of impurity. So he bears our sufferings, he bears our illnesses, he's he's punished on our behalf, he suffers on our behalf, he provides atonement of the sins that we do through exile 
Why? Because of the name in who he comes. He's ultimately a revelation of the mercy of Yote Wawe, you know. But he comes in his name, he represents his name. Okay, so this is the only other place where this word for pits, um, let me just go back. This word, Bishchitotham, is used. It's really Shechitotham, their pits. But B means in their pits. Where are we redeemed from? Let's go and have a look now. Where the gathered in of Israel? If you read the whole of Psalm 7, it's talking about the gathered in of the lost of Israel. I may well bring it up and get you some context in on that as well. This is the only other place in the Torah. Yishlach Davaro, he sent his word. What word? The Mashiach ben Yosef. Okay, this talks about his word, didn't I? Um, Asher. It, 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 it talked about it, it didn't it he will raise sorry he, the note did he will raise and lift the people and prove and confirm his word or his teachings or his torah his word and his teaching shadavaro shadavaro is davaro look at this davaro his teaching it's all connected to here it's all connected. It's all utterly beautiful. And extricated them from their pits. And that word is the same. Shechitotham. But this time it's from. So it uses the um, suffix. It uses the mem at the beginning of the word. M for mem. From. Meshchitotham. From their pit. Let's just go back. This is Bish Chitotham. So the Mashiach of the Yod was put into their pit in order to rescue them from the pit by his word. Okay. By his word. Down here, look. Um, he sent his word and healed them and extricated them from their pit. Let's go and have a look at 107. I just wanted to point this out though. We're talking about the Mashiach of Yote Wawe. First four letters. Mishchi is rearranged to be Mashiach. If you turn those two the other way, it's Mashiach. We're talking about the Mashiach of Yote Wawe. It's all beautiful and fascinating stuff. Let's just go and have a look at this in context so that we know this is talking about um, the gathering in the lost of the house of Israel. Okay, so I've got some context here. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good for his kindness is eternal. Those redeemed by the Lord shall say it. Those whom he redeemed from the house of the oppressor, gathered them from the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the sea. They strayed in the desert on the road of desolation. They did not find an inhabited city, i.e. Jerusalem. Hungry and as well as thirsty, their souls enwrapped itself in them and they cried out to the lord in their distress from their straits he rescued them and he led them on a straight road to go to an inhabited city they shall give thanks to the lord for his kindness and for his wonders to the children of men for he said to the yearning soul and hungry soul he filled with goodness to those who sit in dark and the shadow of death prisoners of affliction and iron for they rebelled against the words of god and they scorned the counsel of the most high and he humbled their heart with toil they stumbled with no one to help them and they cried out to the Lord in their distress from their straits. He saved them, he took them out of darkness and the shadow of death and he broke open their bonds. They shall give thanks to the Lord for his kindness and for his wonders to the children of men. And he broke copper doors and cut off iron bars. Fools, because of the way of their transgressions and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Their souls despises all food and they reach the portals of death. And they cried out to the Lord in their distress from their straits. He saved them, he sent his word and healed them and extricated them from their pit they shall give thanks to the lord for his kindness and for his wonders to the children of men and they shall slaughter sacrifices of thanksgiving and they shall tell of his deeds with song which song nishmat kolchai okay the souls of all living they shall they saw the deeds of the lord and his wonders in the deep he spoke and he set up a tempest and it raised its waves. They went up to the heavens. This raising the waves and the tempest is associated with Yonah. And it's associated with Yosef. And it's associated with Yeshua. Whoever Yeshua is. Be that Shimon ben Hillel. The Mashiach ben Yosef. 
they went up to the heavens and they came down to the depths. Their soul melted with trouble. They were frightened and staggered like a drunkard and all the wisdom was destroyed. They cried out to the Lord from their distress and he take them out of the straits. The tempest he had set up settled into a calm and their waves were stilled. The power of Mashiach ben Yosef stills the waves. The Zohar tells us this and I've done teachings on that before. If you go look at the teaching that I did on Yonah, it will go through this whole concept of Yosef and Yonah with the power to still the waves. Yes, of the power to still the waves of the Sea of Malkuth. They rejoiced and they were stilled and he led them to the region of their desire. They shall thank the Lord of his, for his kindness and for the wonders of children of men. They shall exalt him in the assembly of people and in a sitting of elders praise him. He makes rivers into a desert and springs of water into an arid place. A fruitful land into a salty waste because of the evil of its inhabitants. He makes a desert pool into our pool of water and a wasteland into springs of water. He settles the hungry gate there and they established an inhabited land. And they saw fields and plant vineyards which produce fruits and grain. And he blessed them and they multiplied exceedingly and their animals did not decrease. Whereas they were few and they sank down from dominion, trouble and sorrow. He pours contempt upon princes and leads them astray in a wasteland where there is no path. He strengthens the needy from poverty and made his family made him family like flocks families like flocks. The upright see and rejoice and all injustice shuts its mouth. Thankfully we're gonna see that day dawn soon, because right now injustice has got a big mouth. A big arrogant mouth. He who is wise will keep these in mind and they will ponder the kind deeds of the Lord. What have we been telling and what have we been saying to do? We've got to be kind now. We've got to get on our Shabbat clothes. The best attribute to be wearing at this time is kindness. Okay, so you can't be kind to purely wicked people. That's not kindness. That's stupidity. That's evil itself. We've just got to do acts of kindness as much as is possible. Be kind. Kind words, kind thoughts, kind deeds. Be upright. Be righteous. Be holy. Okay, get on our best clothes at this time. Let's go back. So I've got a lot to think about then. Right, seeing that I might have closed lips. So this has got the exact, if we take the ordinal and the mispagged all ordinal and add them together, come to 335, the exact as the ordinal for this note. Okay, Moshe had closed lips. He didn't know how to speak the truth. We've been in a situation where we haven't been able to speak the truth. We've had uncircumcised lips because we haven't had the 6,000 years that are needed to bring forth truth from the earth, from this toil of, of all humanity has been toiling against the forces of evil to bring forth from the earth this truth, this revelation, Od Yosef Chai, Yosef is still alive, the Holy Yechida is still alive, the tip of the holy name Yod Hei is still alive, okay? We haven't even, we've been like sheep led to the slaughter, this word is aral, means circumcised, it uncircumcised, we've had uncircumcised lips, we haven't even been able to open our mouth and the words of truth come out. We haven't known, we've been separated from the truth, we've been covered in a foreskin of lies. Our lips have been covered in a foreskin of lies. Okay, so Miss Pagadol Ordinal of this, and a Miss, sorry, Miss Pagadol and Miss Pagadol Ordinal come to 1930, which is 5 times 386. 386 is Yeshua. This is the office of Mashiach ben Yosef. This is the title of Mashiach ben Yosef. Not necessarily a name. This represents the salvation of the name of Yote Wauhe. And one who comes in his name, in that office, in that capacity to represent in this exile the power of the name of your day well here she is a tree of life it's chayim he okay it's chayim he she is a tree of life to all those who grasp hold of it 244 plus 91 which is amen also 91 is your day while we plus elohim i do believe um no your day while we plus adonai sorry so yod he -wai represents the Vav, Adonai represents the He, so this is the Yod and the He together. Okay, that the Mashiach is there, the Mashiach and his kingdom. The name of yod he -wai -wai represented by the one who comes in his name and the Holy Kingdom, the Holy Malkuth. 
there's all different ways of looking at it and it's also the mysterious name Sa'el that represents how yod -Heh wow -Heh disguises himself in exile he disguises himself with the letter Aleph essentially I've gone through that concept a lot I think I might have done a video on and, and in it, the title is Sa'el it's one of the mysterious names of God and it's related to um, in it's related to the Song of Songs where it says I will pursue them, I will overtake them, I will I can't remember how it goes now but it's five Alephs all in a row um, I will pursue them, I will overtake them, I will take their beauty I will and, and it's Aleph, 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 Aleph and this word holy name Sa'al that's 91 is related to that anyway let me not deviate too much because I'm talking about things I, I ain't had a look at for a while so basically this is exactly the same as this if you want to she is a tree of life this is the name of your tree well here okay it's Chaim he this is related to here because really you see once we understand this note and who this note is the the, the, the person who this note is referring to that's when we grasp hold of the tree of life okay we finally get a hold of the tree of life we finally back to that state of being attached to the tree of life we finally overcome the power of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and it's all connected we finally able to open our mouth and speak the truth that has sprouted from the ground during these last six thousand years of rectification the tree of life that we have grown from below and through our experience of being a tree, man is a tree in the field through these six thousand years of being a tree in the field the field of Asaph at this time you shall make top two golden cherry cherubim these are the two golden cherubim upon which you would hear where we seated okay the mercy seat 1675 5 times 335 connected up here to all these all significant this is supposedly metatron and sandalphon so this is the the system of reward and pun punishment if you like isn't it this is um th this is the system of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that we usually we, the, the revolt the cherubim with the revolving sword we're so busy looking for our reward and punishment we're so hypnotized by the outer reality of, of, of existence that we fail to sometimes see the hidden inner dimension of that reality which is your way well, where we're fulfilling his Torah to return all of B'nai Israel including the last of the house of Israel to himself to holiness and then we've got this it's beautiful so this is trough plucked torn or prey and it's connected to yosef trough tref yosef it's connected to the mashiach this is the dove that plucked the olive leaf that we did in the i did in the the video called elijah about this whole concept of the olive leaf representing mashiach ben david it's a beautiful beautiful teaching 335 are related to this wonderful and then we've got the truth missing the truth is missing this is i think it's sota 49 that vilna go and um identifies this as one of i think it's one of the appellations of mashiach ben yosef it's connected to the concept the wisdom of the sages will stink and that in that same section of sota 49 in the talmud sota 49 i think it's 49b it talks about the wisdom of the sages will stink the truth shall be missing it's all coded the truth is represented by the letter vav that is associated with the six alephs of the first verse of torah the six alephs in there that's associated with the six days of creation that's associated with the six thousand years of rectification that we are experiencing we're right at the end now so the truth is missing the vav is missing so here in the letter nun there's a vav missing and as you can see here in the name Joshua there's an extra vav so this is when once we understand the truth um, associated with Mashiach ben Yosef this very hidden way that Yodhi well has been gathering in the lost of the house of Yosef 
1084 also 1084 this filling out is exactly the same as Mashiach ben Yosef Mashiach ben Dawid Miss Bagadol of Mashiach ben Dawid is 1084 so that's another very important very very important number is 1084 it's extremely extremely messianic number there's a lot associated with that and that's that filling out of Yeshu Sheikh Ben Yosef is given the title Yeshu in exile. It's a derogatory term, mate. Means Yimach Shemo Zikro. May his name and his memory be erased. But if we add up the ordinal of Yeshu, the ordinal of Yeshu to the first filling, and the ordinal of Yeshu to the second filling, when it's got the vav missing from the nun, when it's not got the truth, we can see it comes exactly to the same. The truth is missing when we have this concept of Yeshu. Because it's just hiding the truth. It's a, it's a concealment. We've got to take that concealment and transform it into a revelation like what we have done now. And then this is a very mystical verse from Job. And it's connected to Sh Shimon. I'll tell you why. It says, my bow and my bow will become stronger but in my hand. That's from Job. A very mystical term. But this word, tahalif. One of the names of Shimon Kefer is Shimon Akalpus. That's in that I'm going to do an um, an analysis, but that's one of the names taken from um, the, the writing of the sages. He's called Shimon Akalpus, and it's connected to Shimon um, Clopas. I think I, I think that's how you say it, Cleopas or something like that. And it just means to, is exchange. It means to exchange. In this way, it's translated to become stronger, but it's come stronger through some sort of exchange. Tahlif. So, khalif is like halpos or khalif. It means the one who's exchanged. So, there is a definite connection. Anybody who understands the etymology of words and things like that would pick that connection up. But there's a definite connection with this word to um, Shimon Hakalpos. Okay, that's how he's sometimes known, or um, a calfi. I think that's another word. The one who's exchanged, it means the exchanged one. Simon, the exchanged. It's, it's the root is the rooted is is in this word here. Khalif. So this has got a double connection, hasn't it? Because it's got a connection up here to the misbagadol of this phrase comes to 3815 and the regular and the ordinal plus the mispagadol regular and the ordinal add them all together come to 3815 exactly the mispagadol of this but there's also another connection up to the square ordinal because this is 10 times 137 and the square ordinal is 35 times 137. We're going to be having a look at that number. It's extremely significant. So there's a double connection to this verse, to this. And this verse is pointing towards Shimon Ha Kalpus or Shimon the exchanged one or Shimon um, Simon. I, I can't think how to pronounce it now. Um, clear pass okay there's so many different names to get your head around they've really tangled everything up you've got to be able to take all the threads and undo them and it's not easy to do it's not easy they've purposefully muddied the waters as much as they possibly can they've purposely created as much confusion as they possibly can so to keep your eyes straight on the target is very very difficult you know, it takes you to do a massive weave like this. And then even then, you've got to pull all the threads together and make sense out of it to be able to open your mouth and speak the truth. It, they've made it difficult for us. Okay, but this is very significant because it's definitely referred to as Shimon Ha A Kalpos. I'll just quickly show you so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the first time I've looked at this. Um, I've got it from a different source before, but this points out some of the problems with the name changes. 
um, basically you've got this um, story about the ninth of Tibet which I've talked about being the um, fast of Simon Peter the fast of Simon Peter there's a whole load of stuff in there if you wanted to pick it up you'd have to go look at rabbimanning.com on this ninth of Tibet and things like that but get into um, Shimon um, Peter here look Shimon Peter called Simon Kafer and then they've got him here um 19c Talmudic commentator night Ra uh, Rabbi Aram Worms corroborates it and writes that the ninth of Tibet is the yard site of Shimona Kalpone. So you've got Shimona Kalpone up here in this commentary by Rav Baruch Frankel Teomin in his glosses to the Shulchan Aruch. So this is in the Shulchan Aruch, the main halakhic source for rabbinic Judaism that the ninth of the Tibet is the art site of the great Jewish hero Shimon Hakalpos. So Shimon Hakalpos, Shimon Hakalphoni, and it's connected to the Khalif, the exchanged one. Um, and then references is apparently to Simon Peter, so they've got it muddled up, all the names. It's like Shimon Hakalpos, Shimon Hakalphoni, and Shimon Peter, Simon Kafer, they've purposefully covered it up. Here again, in the 1705 version of Toldoth Yeshu, refers to Shimon Kalpone. Here again. And this also refers to the yacht site of the 9th of Tibet. So they have a feast day, according to the Shulchan Aruch, that's to do with Shimon, and, and who went into Rome, who led the believers to Rome. And, and there's all kinds of stuff written about it. I haven't even gone through this fully myself. Um, but there's um, probably some more things of interest in all that. Go look it up yourself. There's things also about the Christmas and things like that and the pagan roots. And eventually how they will be brought into um, considered holy festivals right at the end of the rectification. Um, just to point out that trough is trough trough Yosef, surely torn is Yosef, and ach trough trough he has been surely torn. I think that's how you pronounce it, not 100% sure. So, this word here, tachalif, is related to Shimon, the replacement, khalife, um, and khalufi, and khalpos, you see. And this is how it's very difficult to be able to speak the truth because they've used so many different names to cover the tracks. They've led us on so many different wild goose chases. And the entire of the New Testament, the, we've no assurances that that wasn't. Um, we've, we've every evidence to suggest that they are infiltrated teachings that cannot be taken literally. This is why we've got to look beyond what all the lies of what we've been taught. Because you know in exile we've just been opening our mouths thinking we're telling the truth. Yod we did something very incredible. He provided a provision, the Mashiach ben Yosef, the light of the Mashiach ben Yosef to come down into exile with us. But that got dressed up in all these lies. And we've got to start and unpick to reveal the truth now. Okay. Pretty sure that is actually connected to Shimon Hachalpos. That number 2272, just wait a minute. Okay, indirectly, somewhere in my distant memory, it must have been, um, uh, I must have been thinking about that number. 2272, um, the, t the same as um, this, um, so, um, what we've just been looking at, the bow will be str strengthened in my hand, came to 2272. But that is linked to Shimon Kafer through the number 229. So if we add the regular and the ordinal, the, the, the ordinal, sorry, and the misbagadol ordinal together, we get 229. And obviously, it's chayim hi l'mahazi kim ba. It is a tree of life for those who grasp it. So it's the same, it's the same as that bow, 200, um, 2,272. You see, there's something significant in that bow that's made stronger in his hand. This that's pointing to Shimon Kafer, that's pointing to Shimon 
Hakalpus, Shimon Kal Hakalponi that we just had a look at. Okay. It is a tree of life for those who grasp it. Grasp it with your hands. Okay. So <laughs> we're trying to weave all this together. And um, so we want to grab a hold of this bow, you see, because with this bow, we're going to hit the target that we intended to, to hit. Okay, we're not going to... Torah is about, is equivalent to firing an arrow and hitting it in a straight line on target. It's, that's, it's taken from that whole concept of firing an arrow and the arrow hitting the target, bang on the centre. And we want this bow in our hand because you see we're going to be aiming and we're going to be hitting the target right on target. We're going to be aiming in the right direction. So we can see this is doubly connected to this note, which is wonderful. And then we've had a little bit of a detour to show how significant this verse is. It's mystical, but it's significant. And it's pointing to Shimon, Shimon Kefa, Shimon, who is called in the sages, in the sages writings, Shimon um, Hakalpo, Shimon Hakalpani, Simon Cleopas. Okay. There's all sorts of connections, but like I say, the water's been very muddied up. Here we've also got a connection. Swept them away, that ancient brook. 763. The mispag in all of this is the three main concepts of Mashiach ben, Mashiach. It's Mashiach ben Dawid, 434. Mashiach ben Yosef, 566. So they were a thousand. And then Mashiach ben Ephraim, which is 731. Okay, so you add them together. No, it's sorry, it's Mashiach ben Dawid when Dawid is not with the Yod. So it would be Daleth Vav Daleth instead of Vav, Vav, Daleth Vav Yod Daleth. So that's 424. Mashiach ben Yosef 566, that comes to 990. I think those numbers come up later. And then Mashiach ben Ephraim is 741. So 990 plus. 741 comes to 1731. 611 is Torah. And then we've got these very important numbers. Kofnon Gimel. Kerona Gam. Call out now also. And this is the 153. The last mystical um, revelation given to the Talmudim of Yeshua. 153 fish in the dragnet. Okay that's connected to i've done this a lot it's a search code name for saying at this time the, 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 when the current during the coronavirus because coffin and gimel is also the initial letters of corona gam call out now also and i've done that we call out from where call me out from asav because there's um there's the phrase who was ascended into heaven and then descended i.e into exile and it comes to 765 which is five times 153 but the ordinal is also 153 so and then the initial letters of who was ascended into heaven and descended spell me'esav from asav is given as a warning it's his last message to his disciples. Nobody within Christianity was able to figure this out. But it's connected to at the time when you when when it's made known to you the coronavirus, because it's corona gam, cough non gimel, 153, cough is a hundred, none is fifty, and gimel is three. So at that time, call me out from Asa. So there's been since the coronavirus, a calling out of the anointed Mashiach from the pits of Asaf, from the exile of Asaf. It's all code name. I've talked about that a lot. I've done lots of teachings on that. Who has ascended into heaven? You can go look for the teachings very, very early on. And seven rams. I'm not going to go into too many details with this one, but 474 is Da'ath. We want him to restore our Da'ath. But filled to the level of Beria is connected up here. Okay. There's a false concept of the mother of all living. There's this concept called Barbello. It's not heard of a lot now, but I think a long time ago, this Gnostic concept of the mother of all living, 
probably was much more prevalent in understanding than what it is now but still we've got this crazy concept of like i think it's called like gaia mother nature mother earth there's a lot of people drawn towards that gnostic concept of the mother of all living when it comes to a holy actual true revelation of the mother of all living it's connected to this statement so only statement where the letters in um the letters in order spell barbello the seven rams seven sorry it starts off seven bulls seven rams and david david is the ultimate revelation of the mother of our living because he is the level of soul called higher that which is the the name means the mother of our living this is a rectified eve the rectified body the rectified female rectified vessel okay so we've got to start to think a little bit different in terms of the mother of our living it's the entire kingdom it's the entire physical reality which becomes a house for the name of your day well we for the light of your day well we to, sh to, to dwell with us down here in this physical body in this physical creation within our bodies that's the concept of the mother of all living it's not just mother earth and gaia and all these you know new age understandings it's an it's the entire created reality that becomes a home for the name of your te wauhe and that's done through mashiach ben yosef oh sorry mashiach ben dawid but the throne of mashiach ben dawid is mashiach ben yosef we're in that we're in the process of building the throne up of king david now we're very very close to accomplishing that let's go and have a look at some no other numbers let's see what we're going to look at now so we're going to have a look at some of these numbers here what are these connected to and straight away we've got this massive connection if you've been watching any of the vid videos on shimon uh, k4 shimon by yona you'll see that they're highly connected we've got this this um verb tishma on listen to him the prophet like Mo moshe who is this this 93 is the mispagadol ordinal of mashiach ben dawid when dawid is spelt with the without the yod okay so it's a mispagadol of that but 866 plus 93 is 955 so we can see the square ordinal of this note is five times that this is also connected to shimon by yona so this is pointing at he was the one who is the son of the dove the son of the root the holy spirit the one who the holy spirit descended upon him and then he was sent out into the wilderness to be tested by satan so 739 and 127 comes to 866 exactly the same as listen to him listen to him the one like Moshe and it's also Kotzim Keta Kotzim the crown of thorns he is the holy crown that fell in this caught in the thicket of this exile being tested and I've talked about this last lesson we've got to move from the place of the the ram caught in the thicket the caught in the sin caught in gar filthy caught up in filthy garments got to remove them and put them on the altar get this ram up on the altar because the altar symbolizes our service to yote while and our service to yote while we should be in love and joy and the main service to yote while is prayer and praise okay so we've got to go from a situation where we're trapped by the 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 consciousness of our sin so we're just conscious of serving Yote while we're nothing else beside him. So we've got to transition from exile to redemption. Because you see when we're doing that, that's redemption. We are drawing near to the name of Yote while we, we are serving that. And we're no longer a ram caught in the thicket. Yote while we've provided a provision Mashiach ben Yosef for us. But ultimately this whole experience needs. We've all played a part in the whole experience of Mashiach ben Yosef. And now it's time to transition the ram caught in the thicket onto the ram that's on the altar instead of Yitzchak um, Tachath Benor because it comes instead of Yitzchak the ram caught in the 
pick it instead instead of Yitzhak. And Yitzhak represents the upright ones, the Yud of Yitzhak, the upright ones, the Yeshurim, the righteous ones, the Tzadikim, the Tzadi of Yitzhak, the Chassadim, the kind ones, and um, the Kod Kof is the Kodashim. Of Yit, the cough of Yitzhak, the Kodashim. We've got when we're serving God with all our heart, soul, and strength in love and joy, we have attained, we are like Yitzhak before him. We have transformed ourselves into um, a holy, sweet smelling aroma. You know, we're not just caught up in filthy garments, we are head all uh, caught in the thicket. We've transformed that situation into something very holy and good. Shimon Bar Yona, 127 ordinal, is exactly the same ordinal as Yeshua filled out when the Vav is filled with the Yud, that means at the level of Atsiluth. To conceal a matter, so Vilna Goan said, the, Vilna Goan made this comment regarding this in um, his book Kol Hator. He said that this phrase, conceal a matter, is 871, and I think he likened it to the dreidel. I'm not 100% sure about that. The ordinal 88 is Yeshua 53 plus Yona, the ordinal of Yona. So the ordinal of to conceal a matter is 88. Add them together, you get 959. So related to all these. And Vilna Gon said that to conceal a matter is related to, is in one of the appellations of Mashiach ben Yosef in the book called Hatan. It's also Lord God of the Hebrews. And when you'd hear while we was talking to Moshe to say go to Pharaoh and tell him who sent you Lord God of the Hebrews he's coming excuse me he's coming for the Hebrews 959 it's also this is another appellation from a Sheikh ben Yosef Ephraim um, mit no dead Ephraim lamenting Okay, so the regular is 835 and the ordinal is 124. And that ordinal of 124 is yod he wah Elohim. He is our God. So this experience that we have been experiencing is not something other than yod he wah Because you see, this experience is, is yod he wah Because yod he wah is our God. Everything in physical reality that we have experienced, whether it be good or bad, to our senses... And all the infinite mystery of physical creation, all the infinite laws of science that has built up physical reality, all the infinite spiritual laws of, 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 of this reality in which we live, it's not something other than Yote Wawe. Yote Wawe is our God. Okay. I did a teaching on this when I. I did a teaching, a brilliant teaching, it's one about the sukkah and the Gog and Magog war. It goes over this. You know, we've not got to separate our experience from the reality of Yote while we're fulfilling his Torah in a hidden way. You see, our outer reality is just concealing that inner truth of him bringing us to a place of repentance where we're restored so that we are grasping the tree of life. So it's all beautiful and it's all connected. Um, Neskadol Hayasham. Okay, I need to bring the next one up. Neskadol Hayasham is the phrase that's associated with the four letters on the dreidel. So you've got Neskadol Hayasham, a nun, gimel, he and shin written on the dreidel that's in exile. The dreidel in Israel has got the uh, letters Neskadol Hayapo. A great miracle happened here, but in exile, it's Sham. We are in exile now, by the way. Those initial letters come to 358, which is Mashiach. Mashiach is a form of exile, by the way. Yote Wawi is redemption. But and we've got to re we've got to get to the end of exile that reveals the Mashiach that hopefully gets us to that place of complete total near, nearness to the name of Yote Wawe. we have got to be elevated up to the level of Mashiach so that we are able to draw near to Yote Wawe. there's all different ways of looking at it I'm sure so if we take the regular of Neskadol Hayapo and add them to the initial letters which spell Mashiach it comes to 871 
so there's a little bit of a concealed matter when it comes to the Mashiach as we are finding out a lot of concealment we take the concealment to do so from the concealment comes the revelation there's nothing more concealed than the, the Mashiach there's nothing more concealed than Mashiach and there's nothing that can reveal the name of Yod Huawei greater than that con that that the concept of Mashiach that is really really concealed okay Moshe Yeshua and David Tifereth Yesod Malkuth you add them all up together just wait a minute let me get this right okay so this is the regular this must be the ordinal let me just check that yeah so this is the regular of Moshe Yeshua and David that represent Tifereth Yesod and Malkuth that represent the upper yud of the Aleph the Vav of the Aleph and the lower yud of the Aleph that's the regular that's the ordinal add it up 871 this is the Mashiach that we wanted to reveal the Aleph that what com conceals going back to that what I said about the Sa'el the 99 it's the Aleph um, that conceals becomes the Aleph that reveals the little Aleph becomes the big aleph 871 the mashiach is concealed that that concealment becomes a revelation 116 is mashiach ben yosef that's telling us that this primary revelation is to be experienced through mashiach ben yosef we crack this nut we've got we're a long way to we was revealing the absolute sovereignty oneness and authority of the name of yote wahe Prince of the faces. So the square ordinal comes to seven times six hundred and eighty five, which is exactly this is how it's related also to this. This is the prince of the faces. So Sarapanim. And I did a whole teaching on Yeshua Sarapanim. So you can go and have a look at that teaching. It's incredible stuff. Um Yeshua Sarapanim. There's also the concept of Metatron Sarapanim being Moshe. It's all highly messianic stuff. It's all highly messianic. It's all linked to this note. You know, Yeshua has got his name erased, so he's got the Aleph Ayin missing off his name. This Ayin yeah. is like eyes. We are like blind people. We're not able to see. There's this also this concept of the corner gate. Okay. Um, and that has got an Ayin within it. So the only difference between Prince of the Face and the corner gate is this missing letter ayin okay if we put the ayin in that's missing off yeshua's name it becomes the corner gate you know it's like it's like the concept of the cornerstone isn't it in the, that that was rejected becomes the chief cornerstone the rosh rosh pina it means face okay this is exactly the same as moshe yeshua and dawid okay if we had this up and this together it comes to 1658 there's a lot of mystery involved i really need to go show you the verses if you go on and type in corner gate and pick up the verses for that you'll see that there's a there's a messianic context to that i haven't got time to go through that if you want to learn about the prince of faces you're going to have to look at the previous video that i'm doing it's very very significant it's in the rock rosh hashanah machzor this concept of yeshua sahapanim it's all extremely mystical stuff but now we need to take all that mystery and try and get to an end re 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 an end revelation from it the end revelation is the name of yod Huawei, fulfilling his torah perfectly together in the lost of the house of israel and together in yehuda and to fulfill all the promises to israel and to be king over the nations also through the light of the unified name that is revealed from Yuda uniting with Yosef in the hand of King David. And then this is related to this. You shall give truth to Yaakov to turn in Methli Yaakov. We talked about this being related to truth. What truth? Od Yosef Chai. And that's related to 153 as well. We've already talked about that. Um, that's Corona Gam call out now. And then this is 8 times 207, which is 8 times, oh, light. Talking about the light to the nations, aren't we? 
we talked about um we showed in that verse from luke um talked about being the light to the nations um and all kinds of other things very sig significant we're talking about light what light the name of your dear wowie that is the only light and this is interesting as well because again this is ace have filled with the vav of truth missing you know this has got an extra vav within it within the name of yahoshua but in exile we've got no truth but we've got to take the concealment to reveal the truth you've got to give truth to yakov so yakov can subdue asaph the only thing to subdue asaph is the truth asaph represents fantasy and fiction and if our soul is not empowered with the truth it has no way to overcome the fantasy and fiction of asaph you see all this conspiring all these lies all these intrigues all these politics all this all this manipulation and deception i mean the level of the deception that has gone on to conceal this truth regarding a uh, mashiach is is is, is mind-boggling it's mind-boggling levels of concealment and lies and deception that empowers asaph now we've got to have a truth bigger than that give truth to yakov sorry give truth to yakov the true old yosef Chais. we've got to see beyond all that filth all that all that foreskin all that incrustation over yesod the hebrew yosef is hebrew yeshua is hebrew take away all these filthy goat skins of asaph to reveal the truth old yosef Chai this empowers our soul and then we can see in that also the purpose for asaph that with that truth asaph is able to be, be be subdued the force of truth subdues asaph because that truth reveals that there's only yod here we and nothing else beside him and what can our bodies um fight against anymore what can they fight against the, you know the truth is so awesome it's so overwhelming even our bodies are subdued and then you've also got to reveal that that truth reveals the purpose of asa within it and this transforms asa from chaos and disorder into a uh, shalom a vessel of shalom that that light of his oneness can be and um, bestowed it into so we can see that regular nod and line was written 59 the truth is the only power that can subdue the nations to the side of fallen. We were happy with the bread that we got, this disgusting rotten bread he gave us in the desert. So guess what? You'll be toiling for it. These 6,000 years we've been toiling to bring forth bread from the earth, the bread of truth, the bread that isn't contaminated with the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. This is what we've been fed. He's, he's puffed us up, you know, beyond recognition, beyond the ability to recognise this simple truth that's hidden in all things. We've just been fed these lies continually and these feed our arrogance and this empowers our ace of our bodies against our own soul. You know, we, we've been through a process. We didn't just want to be given the bread from heaven and it was on a plate. You know, you, you feel like beggars. You feel like we just had it given to us there is an element to us that wants to toil that wants the biggest challenge possible just we just let us loose give us the biggest challenge possible you, you know and we toil we didn't get given the easiest ground if you go to eric's israel it's not the most fertile ground ground at all it's full of rocks it's full of stones there's desert places full of scorpions and snakes and no water got to cause this to bloom with the truth got to cause the tree of life to grow there the tree of life represents this truth so there's a part of us that didn't want the bread from heaven there's a good reason why because we wanted to earn that right to have that light of truth bestowed upon us we wanted to earn the right to have that revelation of his oneness bestowed upon us we wanted to overcome all the forces of darkness and we have and we have you know we have toiled for six thousand years see when we get this revelation we will have all earned it and it will be the equivalent of bread from heaven 
but we will have tiled for it. I hope you can't hear my children. I've got, I'm at my daughter and all my children are arguing downstairs. I think they're playing something. So I just apologise if you're able to pick that up. Um, I can't do much to disturb them because I'm actually in my daughter's house. And you shall love your neighbour as yourself. Or have to lerecha kamocha. I did a whole teaching on this. Um, I did it as part of the teachings of Zipporah. And it, the beautiful teachings of those teachings. I go over this whole concept of this being related to Balak. We've got to overlook. We've got to overlook the details of each other's scheming in exile. And got to understand that each of our schemings and all, we had free choice. We didn't have to do evil. We didn't have to lie and deceive. We didn't have to, um, you know, do all these intrigues in order to maintain power or elite, our own sense of elitism. We didn't have to do that. But hidden in that was what God was doing, fulfilling his Torah perfectly, to split the camps of Yosef and Yehuda into two so that at least one would survive and not one wouldn't get... If one be struck down, one might survive. God had a way of splitting us up and he used the teachings of the Pharisees to do that, to keep us apart. So that from a Christian point of view, the house of lost house of Yosef, the Jews would look... Um, like something you didn't want to go near and the Jews, the Christians would like something you didn't want to go near that's how it kept them apart okay, you shall love yourself your neighbour as yourself, the square ordinance 1918, two times 959 connected to all these 959 820 is um, 10 times Mashiach ben Dawid the ordinance of Mashiach ben Dawid when Dawid has not got the um, Yud. And 136 is the regular and the ordinal of Kisei Dawid, the throne of David, which is Mashiach ben Yosef. So there's a lot in there. Uh, there's a lot of wonderful things in there. And finally, this is beautiful. So this is the exact gematria of this. May your hand be upon the man of your right hand, upon the son of man, which is one of the titles for Mashiach, whom you strengthened for yourself. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. The um, Miss Pagadol and the Miss Pagadol ordinal together come to 4,795. Exactly the square ordinal of this. Five times 959. So connected to all these. So we'll turn out so perfection. This is the Mashiach, the son of man. Now let's have a look what else we've got. So this is, this is, let's just go back and see, because we need to pick up this particular number. This 4,795, which we can see is highly significant, is also 35 times 137. 35 is the ordinal of Yona. It's down here, look. Yona is, the, sorry, 35 is the ordinal of Yona. 137 is a very significant messianic number. Okay, so just have to try and get my children to calm down I hope that they do so last lesson we went through some of this this especially um Omar Rosi Lee Rosi Lee Oily I have my secret woe is to me the treacherous have dealt treacherously yeah the treacherous have dealt treacherously with me so now we're going to be looking at the 137 that 35 times 107 equal 4,795, the square ordinal of the um, statement on the note of Kadore. So what have we got? The treacherous have dealt treacherously, yeah, the treacherous has dealt treacherously with, with me. Last lesson we looked at, this word is actually garments. Beged means garment. So it means we've basically got filthy garments. Do you know why? Because we've listened to all these lies with it with that we thought with the truth okay um we've listened to the we've listened to what we thought was the truth and it's been nothing but lies and it's constituted it's made us it's, it's given us thoughts words and deeds that have basically made us put on filthy garments of exile garments influenced by Eruv Rav if we're Jewish garments influenced by Edom if we're Christian garments influenced by um Yishmaelite evil that has puffed us up lit pharisees leaving of the pharisees and the sadducees we've got to take these garments off now and humbly put on garments that are holy 
We've got to get in our Shabbat clothes now. We've got to start doing good, better than we ever have done. The Miss Pagdol ordinal of this is 137, so it's exactly connected to that note. Shimon Ben Hillel, the ordinal of that, Miss Pagdol ordinal, also 137. Indeed, the Lord is in this place. So this is talking about... Um, let me just bring the next one up so we know where we're going with this. Um, all right, okay, I know where we're going now. So this is connected to Shimon ben Hillel, and we know that this is the rock. Ochein yesh Adonai b'makom hazeh. Talking about Yaakov have been slept on the rock. That becomes Shimon Kefer, Simon the rock. Okay, 1,899 is 2 times 911. And Rashi says, based on the first verse of Torah, be Reshit to Beth Beth the letter Beth can mean two. It's the second letter in the Aleph Beth. Be Rashit two beginnings. Beginnings comes to nine hundred and eleven and it's referring to the Torah and Israel. They're the two beginnings, the reason for creation. Be Rashit in the beginnings. The two beginnings are the reason for creation. The Torah which is a revelation of the name of Yod Wahweh. How does it reveal it when we are able to perceive Yod Wahweh we fulfilling his Torah? And Israel, we are the cho we are the people of Israel that bear his name ultimately. And and we have leaders of Israel, Moshe and the whole concept of Mashiach is related here exactly to Shimon ben Hillel. All the house of Israel, Yosef, the stick of Israel. So we've got this number up here, 284, which is the entire, the ordinal books of the Torah. So there's the five books of the Torah and the ordinal values. If you add them all up together, they come to 284. So we have betrayed the Torah that should have revealed. The ordinals of the Torah are related to Mashiach ben Yosef. The regulars are related to Mashiach ben Dawid. We have betrayed the concept, the inner dimension of the concept, the little, the little um, aspect of, of uh, the Yechida, the tip of the Yod, that's what we've been betrayed, that's what we've completely, totally, absolutely betrayed. We've betrayed the inner dimension of the Torah that would have revealed the absolute oneness and authority of Yod while we're, that's what we've be, 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 be betrayed. It's associated with all the house of Israel, the stick of Yosef. So we've got to bear this in mind, it's all connected. These are things I've talked about a lot. And is Yitzhak loved Esau. I did a whole teaching on that. Yitzhak was the Yechida of Abraham. And in order for him to come into his own and find full expression, <coughs> he, he has to wrestle against all the forces of Esau, all the gods of Esau that are basically Satan. Okay, so Yosef is connected to that through Mashiach ben Yosef. And, and I've talked about that a lot. Just had a little coughing fit then. I had, to, I, had to, I had to pause it. So Satan is is our adversary, isn't he? He represents all the lies we've got to wrestle and toil against in order to bring forth that bread from the earth. To bring forth that true, that truth that sprouts from the earth. That word sprouts is Tzemeh, one of the names of the uh, Mashiach. It's ever flourishing, ever growing. It means a branch, it's one of the names of the Mashiach, branch, Samech, ever growing, ever flourishing. We've got to reach that state. We've got to reach that state where everything is an ascent for us, not a descent. But we've got to first overcome the Satan, the one who deceives us. We've got to stay focused with the right boat in our hands so that we stay focused on where exactly we're aiming for, that we're aiming for the truth. It's been a toil to reveal that. David the seventh. So this is where we're heading, hopefully, aren't we? we we're heading for David the seventh. It means I think it was the seventh brother. Dawid Hashvi E. He's the seventh millennium. <laughs> We've got to toil for the six working days to get to the seventh. Um, 441, sorry, 411, the ordinal is to 3 times 137 related to all this. Throne of David, Ki said Dawid, I've already pointed this out, 95, regular, 41 ordinal, add them together, 136. If we had a Kalel, because this is very, very concealed, it was 137. 
breaking of the vessels. So this is the shattering the, the, the vessels of chaos, Asaph, rebuilding them into vessels of shalom. Through the power of the truth. The Mashiach hovers over the waters to draw out all the holy sparks to build those vessels up. 137. Yosef ben Yaakov, okay, Miss Pagadol, ordinal 137. This is one of the fillings out of Yeshua, by the way. 513 came up uh, late, earlier, but I can't, I can't make the connections just now. The Vav filled with the Aleph. So the Vav filled with an Aleph is very important. There's places in Zohar which talks about the, the importance of the Vav filled with the Aleph. And this being related to Yaakov or Tifereth. 56 is Teshuva. So we've got to go through a process of Teshuva. We've got to get back to the tree of life consciousness we've got to return 56 is the ordinal of teshuva to get, together they come to 193 and two times 193 is 386 yeshua this is the main force isn't it that's this is the main force that leads us to this place of being treacherous and and having our garments on the filthy garments we need to remove them this one we're coming up to the wedding feast of the king is about to re reveal be revealed get on your shabbat clothes the shabbat is on its way we're there now get ready um amalek's our greatest for isn't it ordinal of 137 is completely erasing we won't have any doubt in the name of your day while we when we when the truth is revealed there will be no room for doubt. We will know God. We, we will have knowledge. We will have knowledge. It is our knowledge that we are trying to restore. Our knowledge is um, Da'ath. It is Moshe is supernal Da'ath or connected to it. Doubt gets in the way. It causes us to cool off. It causes us to get caught up in the... Um, you know to trail behind outside the clouds of God, glory and get caught up in the tail end of life it could cool down you know stop us from serving with all our heart with all our soul with all our strength stop us praising stop us praying you know gives us a sense of hopelessness through doubts and through fears and through everything else it slaughters us without mercy we've got to overcome it it causes this. We've got to connect to the right things to help us to overcome that. The truth, ultimately. Without anointing oil, Mashiach ben Yosef has appeared with as if he's been one without anointing oil. Beli Mashiach b'shomen, as if one that is not anointed. This was what David spoke of Shaul um, when he heard about uh, Shaul's end and things like that. He appeared as one not anointed. And the beasts of the field made peace with you. This is talking about holy converts. I do believe that's the gematria for Shema Yisrael Adonai Lehen Adonai Echad. Rashi said that this phrase from Job is talking about the converts from the heathens. Okay. Um, okay, let's go. Tree for the intellect. So this, the tree of knowledge in Eve's eyes was called the tree of intellect. I did a whole teaching on this. A really quite fascinating teaching about the whole concept of the tree of intellect. I think I called it the mother of all trees. Um, very interesting. Again, ten times you shoot, ten times to shuva. And sekel is our con to do with our levels of consciousness. I hope you can't hear my children down there making a noise. 110 is um, the ordinal of Mashiach, Yeshua HaMashiach. It's the life, the number of years of Joseph's life and the number of years of Yeshua's life. So we can see that's 10 times this and it's also connected to, um, you know, the naught, sweet singer of Israel. So that's Mashiach ben Yosef, uh, sorry, Mashiach ben Dawid, who's the sweet singer of Israel. We want to get to that place where we praise in your day while we're for all his goodness. Hearken to me, O Israel, O Yaakov and Yisrael. So the regular and ordinal come together 1370 light darkness peace and evil so there's in isaiah it says i formed light and made darkness um 
I created peace, uh, no, I made peace and created evil and it's putting darkness and evil above a higher spiritual level than light and peace and the sages say this is because once we transform darkness into light that darkness that's transformed from darkness into the light that's transformed from darkness into light is a higher level of just the light it's like the bread from heaven is one level you see the bread we toiled for the bread that we toiled in the from the earth to reveal the truth from the earth even though it was dark dirty work it's much higher level than that that we receive directly likewise peace if we just got peace bestowed upon us without no work, it would be one level. But you see, when we transform evil into shalom, Esau into shalom, that shalom is a much higher level. And that comes to 137, so it's linked up, up to all that. And then, and a wretch who is sated with food, it comes to 137, Miss Bagadol. And this also is um, Yos um, Yosef made himself known to his brothers and also um, Yimach Shimo was I do believe. Um, 137, so that's all related. And the wretch who is sated with food refers to Metatron. This is the entire system of reward and punishment, the entire system of duality that's run by angelic forces that are very unforgiving. Be they're unforgiving because they're just a set order that they have to obey. But Yeshua and um, Yote Wawe created an inner order called Teshuva that allowed us to return to our former state, to transcend this natural, static, unforgiving order. Because God, through his name, is forgiving. And this name is... Um, it transcends that order because it's, it's more authority than that order. He put that order in place. But the hidden order of the Torah, the hidden secret of the Torah, if you like, is Teshuvah. We are simply being, we're simply returning to um, Yote Wawe, to the tree of life. And that is concealed in this very static order. I talked about that last lesson. I'm not going to go into too many details because it is a little bit above my head, Kabbalistically. I can only understand it in terms of trying to differentiate between a revelation of the name of Yote Wawe and sometimes what we perceive as being Yote Wawe when we are one looking just for reward. You know, if we are just fo focused on our own reward, we're going to be doing what gives us reward and, and avoiding what doesn't. And we think that that whole experience is experiencing God in some way. But that system is actually concealing the true system of Teshuva in some way. But it's, it, it's Kabbalistically, it's, it's not easy to explain, so I'll just leave that alone. I just, however, wanted to point out, going back to that first slide, there's a connection to Menachem, the Essene. Okay, so if you take this word here from Psalm 107, Meshchi Totom, and I said that for those first letters are Mashiach, the last letters come to 846. Okay, this is a very significant number. Let's go see how that 846 is connected to Menachem. So I am going to actually um, be doing, I'm hopefully going to be doing a lesson on Menachem, I've already pointed out how Menachem went out and Shemai went in and I've done some lessons, the previous lessons that I've done, I think, not this last one, but the one previous to that, I did and I talked about Menachem the Essene in that, very interesting stuff. Menachem departed for the king's service 846, so we can see how that's connected to those last four letters of, of his pits, you know, they've got Mashiach and then um, Totem, I think it is, isn't it? the um you know in their pits so the 846 is actually menachem departed for the king's service and we've also got and jacob was left alone after he'd wrestled with this um for all night that is mashiach uh, sorry that is asav's guardian angel that is satan and then we've got yakov yosef and sarach these are Three people that need to unite in the end in order to reveal that truth. 846. 990 is 
because of my in place of Elohim. This is what your fast to his brothers, 990. It's got exactly the same um, ordinal as that. Mashiach ben Dawid, Mashiach ben Yosef, when Dawid is spelt Dalith Vav Dalith, 990. For who is in heavens is equal to the Lord. Um, 400, 846, which is 6 times 141. 141 is a Muna, which is 102, plus its ordinal, which is, I think it's 39, plus 141, it is, yeah. So it's connected to a Muna. And here we've got the initial letters for Mashiach ben Yosef. Okay. You dug ears for me. This is talking about, it's also talking about circumcising our ears. This is, according to Jeremiah, we need circumcised ears. We need circumcised understanding. We've, when it comes to the Mashiach, our understanding is um, covered in a foreskin. We need to get rid of that. And these major concepts help us to reveal that. Um, here, we've got a connection up here. And it was on the eighth day that Moshe sum summoned Aaron and his sons and and the elders of Israel. This is what gives me an understanding that Menachem, who departed for the king's service, is somehow connected to Mashiach ben Dawid. And then going back to this concept here about Yaakov, Yosef and Sarah, it says the sum of all four names, um, okay, so the sum of all four names, maybe I shouldn't have put that, but the sum of all four names are uh, Sarah, Rivka and Hannah, who all got was all old and, and barren, yet got blessed on Rosh Hashanah with babies. And the initial letters of that spell Sarach, up here, Sarach Bat Asher. So that's where you get all the four, four names from, and they equal 946. This is in a book by Harav Ginsberg. It says, the secret of the pregnant world is discussed above. This is in the book. This one emanating from the head of the three is found in Rabbi Shimon Ban Yochai's teaching in Piki Avot. They are three crowns and the crown of the goodly name. Actually, a fourth crown ascends above them all. The woman of valour is the crown of her husband. I was talking about Sarach Bat Asher. She comes from the initial letters of Sarach, Rivka and Hannah. Okay, so she becomes the crown of her husband. Sarach was the one to bring to her father. Yaakov, the tiden of his lost son Yosef, was still alive. By this, she enlivened the spirit of Yaakov himself. Um, Tahi Rucho Yaakov and the spirit of Yaakov came to life as though spiritually bearing her own grandfather it was thus as though the soul of Yosef married the soul of his niece Sarah to give birth to the soul of his father her grandfather Yaakov and that's taken from a book by Harav Ginsberg so it's all very powerful interesting stuff and um, we start we now got to start to listen to the messages of the messenger that are revealing all these wonderful things so that we are able to um, reveal the truth regarding the Mashiach and in do so re reveal the absolute oneness of your Te Huawei. With that I'll say Shalom, please subscribe and share. Thank you very much.